Welcome to iLecture Online and here are some examples of how to do max min problems in algebra. Now typically max min problems or maximum slash minimum problems are typically geared to be solved using calculus but there's actually a clever technique we can use in algebra because typically uh, the result of trying to work out these problems you end up with a quadratic equation and to find the maximum or minimum value of what you're looking for you need to find the vertex of that quadratic equation. You want to find the x and y axis of the vertex. So that's the strategy that we're going to apply, imply here. So uh, let's take a look here. We have a garden that needs to be enclosed along the side of a house. What is the maximum area that can be enclosed with 36 meters of fence? So let's make a little drawing here. So let's say that this is the, the wall of the house. Here's the house and this is kind of like a, a bird's eye view picture and then we're going to enclose a garden with a fence like this and of course we don't need to use a fence on this side we already have a house so for three sides of the area that we're going to enclose we need to use the fence and we only have 36 meters of it so let's say that uh, this side over here this is x and this is x and this is y we can then say that the area area is equal to uh, x times y, the length times the width. And we want to maximize the area. So we need to come up with an equation that allows us to find the, the area. It needs to be a quadratic equation. Of course, you can only have one variable here. A can only be dependent on either x or y. So we need to find some constraint. So the first thing we do is find an equation. The second we do is realize what we're going to maximize. And then the third thing we need to do is we need to express the equation in terms of only one variable. In this case, we have two variables, x and y. So we're looking for a constraint. So we're going to use a constraint. In this case, the constraint is that we only have 36 meters of fence, 36 meters of fence, that's the constraint, to eliminate one of those two variables. So we need to be able to use this information to express x in terms of y or y in terms of x. So here we can see that if we add x plus y plus x, that should add up to 36. So we can say that 2x plus y equals 36, which means I can replace the value for y by 36 minus 2x by bringing the 2x over to the other side and substitute that into my original equation. We now develop the equation with only one of the two variables. So now we can say that the area is equal to x times y, but instead of y we're going to write what y is equal to, which is 36 minus 2x. And if we multiply this out, we get area is equal to 36x minus 2x squared, or if I rearrange it, I can say a is equal to minus 2x squared plus 36x. All right. Now, since this is a negative x squared, or in this case, negative 2x squared, we can imagine that's a parabola which is, uh, if we were to graph that or at least sketch it, that it looks something like this. So the parabola will open downward, and that means that we have a maximum value on this parabola. So we want to find the highest value in the parabola, which means we want to find the vertex, x sub v, y sub v, on that parabola. So at what point do we have the highest point on a parabola? The vertex. And from, if you remember right from algebra, we can say that the x sub v is equal to minus b over 2a. So remember that a general quadratic equation, we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So minus 2 would be a, 36 in this case would be b, and if we plug a and b in that equation, we find the x value of the vertex. So we can say that x sub v is equal to minus b, and b is 36, so that's minus 36 divided by 2 times a, which is minus 2. That gives us minus 36 divided by negative 4, which is a positive 9, which means that for us to find the largest area, x has to be 9. So therefore, we can conclude x must equal 9. 
And so once we know what x is equal to, we can plug that into our constraint right here to find the other variable. So come back over here. We'll say y is equal to 36 minus 2 times x, and x is equal to 9. So y is equal to 36 minus 18, and y is equal to 36 minus 18. That would be 18. So the maximum area can be made when we let the width equal to 9 and y equal 18. Okay, now, uh, what's the area then? Well, we have the equation area is equal to x times y, so area is equal to 9 times y, which would be 18, and so a is equal to 90 plus 72, which is 162, and of course the units would be square meters. So that's how you find the maximum value using algebra. Let's do a quick review of this. So you were given a problem where you had to make an enclosed area using 36 meters of fence using the wall of a house as one of the sides, which means you'll have a width and a length of that area. And the width can be, equal, can be set equal to x, the length can be set equal to y, and then the area simply would be x times y, which is your equation that gives you the area. But as you can see that the area was given in terms of two variables. You need to realize then what you're trying to maximize. In this case, you're trying to maximize the area. And then you need to come up with a constraint, some sort of relationship between the two variables so you can eliminate one of the variables. The constraint here was that you only have 36 meters of fence. Looking at the drawing, that meant that x plus y plus x could not be any bigger than 36. So 2x plus y is your constraint. You solve that for y, plug that back into your original equation for the area. So then you end up with just an equation. Where am I here? Um, um, um. Oh, there we go. Y is equal to this. There we go. Four. I kind of lost myself here for a moment. So then I ended up with the same equation, but instead of writing y, we write what y is equal to in terms of x. And now you can see that you have a quadratic equation. Realizing that the first term, the x squared term, is a negative, we know then that we have a parabola that opens downward, which means we have a maximum value on our parabola here at the vertex. We realize that to find the vertex of a parabola that's equal to minus b over 2a based upon what our general equation is of a, of a parabola. And then when we plug in the numbers, we get a value for x, we get a value for y, and we can calculate the area. And that's how you solve a problem like that. All right, hope that helps. I'll do a few more examples of this.